Chapter 1.2 What is a certification? What does getting a certification mean? Let's not forget that this is not just a course about health and safety. This is a course about health and safety certification. So it's worth spending a few words about what a certification is in general. Getting a certification means that a company decides to organize itself according to an international standard. In the specific case of the ISO 45001 standard, it means that a company decides to manage its occupational health and safety according to what the ISO 45001 standard requires. But let's get to the concept gradually, step by step. Generally speaking, no company is forced to be certified. A company with no certification could just say, my roof, my rules. That is possible, and in some industrial sectors, it is the most common case. A company that is certified to a standard decided to make its rules according to some specific principles and guidelines. So in this case, the most suitable phrase would be, my rules are made according to a specific standard. In the specific case of 45001, its rules are compliant with a specific standard, the ISO 45001 standard. So the most suitable phrase would be, my rules are made according to the 45001 standard. For many reasons, we will see how this means that overall, this company manages health and safety systematically. So, we have to keep in mind an essential concept. Being certified is not mandatory. No national law requires your company to be certified. But many, many companies worldwide decide to get certified. So there have to be some good reasons for a company to be certified. Let's see them in details. First of all, to improve the way your company operates, shaping your company according to a specific standard is actually useful to work better. Experts have written these standards on the matter through a process that lasted years. So we can agree that if a standard says that something has to be done in a specific way, it's very likely that it's the most efficient way to do it. For every major process in health and safety, the 45001 standard gives many indications regarding the best way to do it. We will be seeing more about it while studying Clause 6, 7, and 8. Secondly, because having something that can prove that your company meets specific standards can be very useful. In the case of health and safety, it's proof that your company manages health and safety in an efficient way. Your company may have to prove it to your clients. Maybe your clients decided to make new rules to help them choose between different providers. And among these rules, they put the minimum requirement of having the 45001 standard. Having a certification could also be relevant to other interested parties, such as your providers, your local community, and even your competitors. We will see in detail this topic in the following chapters. So, a certification essentially does two things. A. Helps us doing something better. B. Helps us to prove that. We could use a metaphor. Getting your company certified is like sending your son or daughter to music school and getting a certificate at the end of the school. Could your kid play his instrument even without having a school certificate? Of course he can. He could even be very good at it. But going to music school would be probably better because A. Going to a music school, your son will attend several classes and surely will improve his skills. B. His music school certificate quickly proves to anyone that he can play without any need to test his skills each time. 